In this video, I will show you three different methods to route a map on Google Maps. This will help you quickly pick your custom route and start navigating. You will not need to type the directions each time you want to start a navigation. Please watch the complete video to understand all three methods and pick the one you like. Method 1. First, visit the Google Maps on the browser. Then here, select the Directions option. Enter the starting point and enter the destination here. You can add more destinations. I'll keep two locations here for this video. Now, depending on the location, Google Maps will suggest different routes. Here, you can preview the routes on the right side. You can see the map with the directions. You can select the mode of travel like driving, public transport, walking, or cycling. Here, it has an option to send the direction to your phone and another option to copy the link. We need the navigation on the phone because we will use that phone to navigate. I want to keep the route handy so I don't need to search for the directions again whenever I need to navigate. If you are logged into Google Maps with the same Gmail account you use on your phone, you can send the route to the phone using this option. It gives me two options, send to iPhone and email to my Gmail account. I will select the email option here. If you are not connected to the same Gmail account, you can copy the link and send it to an email you are logged in on the phone. I already sent the link to my Gmail account. Here I have received the email. If I click on this link view in Google Maps, it will start the navigation using the Google Maps application on my phone. Since I want to keep this route handy, I will copy the link and create a new contact on my phone with my custom route. When I scroll down, I can see the URL option here. I'll select it and paste the URL and click on the Done option. I can add multiple URLs here. You see, I added one more URL here. Now, whenever I need to navigate, I'll find the contact in my contacts list and click on this link. It has the Start option. It means I can start the navigation here. So next time I don't need to search for the direction, I can just open this contact and click on the URL. Method 2 In the second method, I will use a third party service myroutonline.com. It has some premium plans but you can use it for free. With the free plan, you will have some limits like how many custom routes you can create. I will show the free option here. First, I will click on this button start for free. Since I already have an account, I'll just log in. When you are using the website for the first time, you need to create an account. Now, I need to enter the locations here. It has other options to import addresses. You can import addresses from Excel file, import from Dropbox, and you get some more options here. I'll manually add the addresses here. For the start address, I'll put one address here. And when I click outside of this box, it will verify the address with Google Maps. Now the address is verified. Now I need to put the other locations down below. So I'll put one more location here and I'll verify it. Here you see the verify option and I'll put one more address here and verify it as well. Here I can see these are my points. This is the starting point. This is the second address and this is the third address I have entered. Now I'll click on the set goals here. You can set goals. I'll skip this step. I'll click on the plan my route and it is processing the addresses. Our custom route is ready. To use this custom route, you need to download the my route online application on the phone. I already have the application installed on my phone. Now I need to email the custom route to my phone. So I'll click on this email option and I'll send an email. Now I have received the route here and I'll click here to open my route. The app requires location access, so I'll click on this. I'll tap on always. I'll go to the settings here and I'll set the location access to always. Now I'll go to the app again. Here you can see all three addresses I added on myroutonline.com. If I click on the next, I can see the other addresses. When I click on navigate, it will open the Google Maps and start the navigation. Since I'm in a different location, I cannot start the navigation on Google Maps here. For the third method, 
I will use Google My Maps. You need to search with Google My Maps and select this Google My Maps website. Here I already have two custom maps and I'll create a new one. Here I'll click on the create button. Now I will rename the map first. I will type custom root and click on save. Now here I select this add directions option. I will click on this, add the first address here and I will add the second address below. If you want to add multiple points, click on add destinations and add more location points. Here I want to keep two locations. Here you see the custom route. Under the base map, you have multiple options here. You can select the style you like. When you are done with all the customizations, click on the share button and turn on this. Anyone with this link can view. Now I can share the link. I'll open this link in a new tab to see the custom route. With this option, you cannot start a navigation. For the navigation, you can select either the first method or the second method I explained earlier. I have a dedicated video on Google My Maps where I have explained how to create multiple custom pins on Google Maps. You can embed this custom map on any website. If you click on this three dot, you'll see embed on my website. It will provide an iframe code. You can copy the code and put it on your website. Please watch the dedicated video on Google My Maps to learn more about Google My Maps. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.